We did yeah. the, the one where uh, the sh- we pretend to be a girlfriend's boyfriend to the parents. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that. we prank people's parents like we pretend to be their boyfriend and show up at their house for dinner. I pranked a Jewish family. That's was, awesome. That's yeah. actually a good one. How about when they fucking shit in the pool? When Salim's walking down and just faking <laughs> taking shits in the pool. That's probably your are, favorite one. Eh? Are, oh, yeah. I love that one. You know what? I never got to see the video where I, I didn't watch this one where the guy was splashing the camera. Oh, yeah. And it yeah. looked like you guys were going <laughs> to you guys get in the beef with that dude. Yeah, that was our filmer, Adrian. I guess he was filming, and the guy was just splashing his camera. I was actually, I laughed at that part. What's the worst thing that's ever happened to you guys? When you, like, has anybody ever really like, fought you guys? Uh, I have got punched once or twice. I got kicked in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but imagine like, like seeing the person you like made hella mad like in person like another time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. imagine if you seen him at like Walmart or whatever. That shit scares me. I'm scared of that. Because, like, what can you do? What do these guys do when they figure out their pranks? Some people love it. Some people just Some people love it. it, Some people don't like it. But, like, when they're really, really pissed, it's... Man, it's hard to tell them there's a camera because then you're going to piss them off a little more by telling them that you're filming them. So that's the hard part. But do you got to get these guys to sign releases? Um, I mean, we tell them, like, if they're pissed. I mean, if they're pissed, like, we just tell them, like, oh, we're filming. If they tell them, if they tell us, yo, I don't want to be on camera, we tell them, like, yeah. It's a little different now, but back in the day, we'd kind of just be like, if they got pissed, then we'd blur their face. Mm-hmm. But if they didn't, we wouldn't. And then if they complain, YouTube has a tool where you can just, like, blur their face when, yeah. when the video's up. Before you had to take it down. But, yeah, people have sued us. I mean... Is that one, one still going on with that one guy? One story, the first time I, I went to jail in Canada was because we did a harmless prank. We had like 25 pizza box, uh, boxes, me and Jesse, and uh, we were just delivering them to people's houses and saying like, did you order pizza? Like it was the most, you know, and they're like, no, I didn't order 50 boxes of pizza. It was the most harmless prank ever. No one got mad, but this one lady, she got just so pissed at it when she saw it, like, and she was so pissed. And she gave us this crazy reaction. She ran out onto the street and like screamed at us. And she called me George Hennon because I had a I had an ID for, or I had a business card from a barber that said George Hennon. So yeah. she called me George Hennon, and I was like, "Who's George Hennon?" It became a meme. And when the video was posted, we had blurred her license plate, her address. We blurred everything. Like we made sure, but somehow people found out where she lived. Even though we blurred everything, well, they probably we double knew the checked, neighborhood. They probably... I guess. I think it was like a neighbor from across the street that leaked it or some shit because kids were watching outside. What did they do? So people started prank calling her. Oh, God. And saying, George Hennon, George Hennon, George Hennon. Wait, and just called like, her? They knew where she actually physically lived. They did, but they, they Googled her address. But it was blurred. It was 100% blurred. We double checked even on the video. We're like, how did they know? Yeah. So they were prank calling her saying, who's George Hennon, blah, <laughs> blah, blah. So she goes to the police station oh, shit. and we get charged with criminal harassment. Even when you blur it, they get. And she was like a rich pissed. doctor in a rich neighborhood, so rich. like she had some pull with the police a little bit, and they oh, went yeah. hard on us. So they charged us with criminal harassment and mischief over five thousand dollars. What was the penalty? I had to do one hundred and fifty community service hours. Did you really <laughs> love to find out what those were? At a food, <laughs> at a food bank. <laughs> what were those? Hey, so yeah. really, tell us. Tell yeah, us I just, more. <laughs> I fucking we had to like. We had to, people would come in and they would like, we'd like help them shop around the food bank. Like you push their cart around and shit. And like, yeah. you want some beans? Which is great, which is great for you to do, but I don't know. Did, pretty you, do, did you actually do 150 I swear I did it. I had to do it. Because you have to go to a registered, pl- I tried to finesse, I'm not going to yeah, lie. Yeah, of course. I, I, I tried to finesse it, but you had to get it, you had to get it approved by, uh, by the people. So I did it at the food bank. So you're over there helping people like shopping and all that stuff? Yeah, I'm like, you want some beans? You want some pasta? Like, like some people are like entitled. Kind of, they like take their time. They look at the beans and like they choose like. You Wait. Know. So that's was anybody horrible. during that moment ever like? Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, are you Kyle from Nelk Boys? A little bit, yeah. But we weren't as big back then, right? Oh yeah, and they probably didn't know you were doing community but, service. But all the people that worked there did it. No, they knew. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I owned it. I was like, fuck it. All right. Cool. 